Yes, 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 they're dying to meet you. What's up guys, Timster here, and I'm going to give probably my first reaction video for trailers. Yes, I'm gonna start something new in this channel just to give my reaction whenever I see a trailer coming out as soon as I can. If I don't see it right away, then I'll just give a reaction anyway. But now, this just came out, the trailer to James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, which is a semi-reboot sequel to 2016 Suicide Squad by David Ayer. And right now, I can tell you, this one looks a ton, ton, tons better than the original Suicide Squad film because it's James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Slither, all of those crazy movies that you've seen in his resume, he applies it here, and we're gonna have an all-star cast like Viola Davis, Joel Kinnaman, and Margot Robbie are returning as uh, Amanda Waller, uh, Rick Flagg, and Harley Quinn. Captain Boomerang is also there, Jay Courtney. But we're also gonna be introduced to a new batch of characters, including Idris Elba as Bloodsport and Peacemaker as played by Du, 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 du. You can't see him, John Cena. Yeah, well, uh, I couldn't see him in this trailer, I guess. <laughs> but overall, when you watch this trailer, the impressions are fantastic. Uh, James Gunn has been teasing it throughout the day. He released two new posters, including this one. So I absolutely can't wait. This will be premiering this August in the States, in theaters, and in HBO Max. But since we're here in Asia, and specifically here in the Philippines, we don't know that yet. It'll depend on the global pandemic situation. So, as always, wear a mask, stay home, and only go out when it's necessary. We're still not out of the woods, people. Much like these guys, they're dying to meet us. And Task Force X, if you don't know the background of Task Force X, they're criminals being forced by the government, specifically Amanda Waller, Argus, to do the dirty work, the black ops, that nobody else can do in exchange for 10 years off their sentence. So we're going to see other veterans, other uh, normal, normal actors who have worked with James Gunn, like Michael Rooker, of course, Merle Dixon from The Walking Dead, and Yon Du from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's going to be in this movie. Uh, we're going to see Sylvester Stallone. Uh, undisclosed role yet. So let's see when we see the movie. And King Shark. Oh my god. They put King Shark in this movie. And he's just so adorable. Overall, you just got to see this funny trailer. I give it a big thumbs up. 5 out of 5. As James Gunn can present his trailers in the same visual style as his Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And he's going to do Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So after this, let's see what GOTG3 holds for the future. But DC is kicking ass again. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, well, Zack Snyder's vision for Justice League was awesome. And if you haven't caught that yet, catch it on HBO Max and HBO Go. It's streaming right now, including the Justice is Grey black and white version. So if you want to see it in black and white, go ahead but there are no new scenes I can spoil that now no new scenes in that four-hour movie but the next one we're gonna be looking forward to is this the Suicide Squad coming to theaters soon so thank you Warner Brothers Philippines for sharing the trailer visit them in Facebook and then you can also visit me in Facebook Instagram and Twitter and here in YouTube also and social media pages T-I-M-Z-S-T-E-R normally I'd cosplay Batman but I love talking about all things comics and DC comics. I love DC comic stories. So this is an absolute must for me to watch when I can, when it's safe. So The Suicide Squad, I can't wait for it. Catch it now. I'll put the trailer down below in the description box so you can watch it if you haven't seen it yet. Thumbs up. Watch it. 